Me, Steve. Um, I am going to show you a series of slides showing the uh, progression of the ice sheet, of the uh, Laurentide ice sheet during the Wisconsin episode and then subsequent retreat over the Midwest. I've actually been working on this for a couple weeks. Um, I've, I've wanted to do this for a while. I'm not, I'm not a real big Ice Age guy, but living here in the Midwest kind of had to deal with it from time to time. Uh, but um, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about uh, real quick, just show you what all this stuff means, and then I'm going to shut my mouth and let the slides run for you with no music. Um, okay, so first slide here. Um, what you're going to see, my base map was the geologic... Uh, bedrock map of North America. The reason why I chose this is so you could see how the ice sheets advanced and what geologic bedrock units they moved as they as they advanced and retreated. Um, now granted I didn't add the glacial deposits on top of here. You're just going to see the ice sheets move uh, back and forth and stuff. Um, but you're also going to see some other things on the uh, on the th on it as well. If I can get this slide to go to the next one. Um, let's see here. Let's try this. Sorry about that. I don't know why it's not progressing. Let me see if it'll do it here. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, it looks like it will. All right. Sorry about that. So here on this slide, what you see is you see the exact same thing you saw on the other slide, except I actually put the geologic uh, systems in here so you could see them better. I, I know that was really small on the previous slide. What I'm also going to put in here are you're going to see paleo lakes. Now, the Great Lakes and water bodies on this map are going to look black. That's their modern appearance. But the paleo lakes, I'm going to make uh, this light blue, um, only large ones. And paleo rivers are going to be this uh, bright blue color. Uh, because river patterns have changed, once the modern ones are established, uh, I'll remove those as well. That's what the Laurentide Ice Sheet is going to look like, its, its extent. And what you see down here, that's going to be the years before present on each slide. Now, I'm using the year 2000 as my standard, uh, not 1950. Uh, if, you, if you're familiar with carbon dating, you'll know what that means. But I'm picking 2000 as my... Uh, as my base. Now on this first slide, zero, which would be the year 2000, here just for reference points I'm going to show you the map. Now I'm going to remove the political borders here. I only put this on here for reference so you can see relative to the cities and stuff because I wanted you to be able to see that bedrock map. Plus it's really hard to find a map that will overprint this that, that's an accurate map so I just decided to get rid of the map with the political borders on it that layer. Uh, but you'll see the Great Lakes are labeled here except for Erie and Ontario. I didn't label those here. You'll see them later anyway. Um, you'll see the major cities I selected for this so you can get your bearings and stuff. I did not put the state name on here but the cities uh, people are probably more familiar with anyway so I, I did it that way now in the upper left hand corner you're gonna see uh, some tidbits of stuff uh, just read it as you want I did it just so I wouldn't have to talk during these slides but this first one I am going to because this one is two and a half million years before present the reason why I'm showing it to you is so you can get a sense of the pre-glacial uh, patterns that, that or the pre-glacial river patterns that existed before the ice ages started in North America. There were no Great Lakes. There was no Lake Winnipeg. Hudson Bay, some people say there was, some people say there wasn't, but there was definitely no James Bay, all right? And the Mississippi River did not follow its present course at all. Here you can see the ancient Mississippi River, uh, and like I said, this is only the most recent ice age I'm showing uh, I'm only showing the Wisconsin episode. I'm not doing the Illinoisan or the pre-Illinoisan ones. All right. So here you can see the Muhammad Teus River. That that was a huge drainage system, and that actually got buried early in the glacial uh, game here. Um, the ancient ancestral Mississippi actually held that course until the most recent ice age, even through all the other ice uh, advances and retreats. And here you see the ancient Iowa River. Um, and you can see that the Great Lakes were a system of rivers. Now, some people put a river running through Lake Michigan, but I have my questions about whether or not that river actually existed or not. But that's an argument for another time. So I just thought I would show you that basic stuff here. Now we're going to get into it. I'm going to start it at 33,000 years before today. So sit back and enjoy, and I hope you will learn something.